and welcome to You Are Supreme Toys. Uh, I'm heading to a local Walmart. We're gonna try our hand at uh, was that a store walkthrough. What do, what do all the other YouTubers do? Is show up at their local stores and wander around and show you stuff that's usually not there. Uh, I don't know. Apparently, some other stuff has come in stock since yesterday. I don't know if that's true or not, but the inventory on walmart.com seems to have updated a little bit for the in-store items. Um, I know that they had a pretty big, substantial clearance aisle. They doubled the size of it since the last time I was there, so I'm going to go through there. If it's not too crowded, I'm going to give you a view of what kind of stuff's uh, currently on sale. And then we're going to go over to the toy aisle. Alright, walking into Walmart now. Local Walmart. Hopefully y'all don't recognize where I'm at by some visual cues. Let's go in here and have a look see what they got. Alright, here's the clearance aisle. Looks like a bunch of junk. Nothing special. Pictures. Some goldfish stuff. And Barbie clothes. I got a couple of Nerf items. That's not even Nerf. I don't even know what that is. Off brand. Master stuff is already on clearance. Nine dollars. Mm. I don't need to be getting into that right now. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, Wonder Woman's on clearance. Oh, man, it's the Batman. Yeah, Selena Kyle. Oh, I've always wanted that. Uh, Transformers, Wanda, Multiverse of Madness. These bendies. That's that's an amazing clearance price, Walmart. Yeah. Can't wait to pay that. Didn't want to pay it full price. Uh, huh. Oh, my. Oh, for a second I saw it was $1.97, but it's... Literally the full price. That's false advertisement. Wind Raiders 25. Guy from my hero. We got some Lego sets in here. That's pretty good. More uh, Netflix Masters. Tons of Lego sets. Tons of Lego sets. Some like Kanto. So, what's that? Power Rangers. The Kitos, those are pretty cool, but these are actually really nice. But I can't be getting into these. Seven dollars isn't terrible. I like how Mario said it's more Power Rangers. All right, I'm just gonna run down these aisles. This is an action figures. Though there is a Grogu. I'm not looking for that. All these electronic toys. I've never been into electronic toys. Some people are, but not me. Spider-Man hidden over there. Nerf. Those dinosaur guns look pretty cool. Let's see. This is the Lego aisle. I'll run down here, but I don't collect Lego. Maybe you do. I don't know anything about it. Maybe you can spot something in the video that you're like, oh, I didn't know that was in stock yet. But it's Lego. Got all the cars behind me. And by cars, I mean empty pegs. The Mario Kart stuff. This is uh, some of the few things I've thought about buying, but I, I don't because I can't buy everything. It would be unreasonable to buy everything. Oh, now they're doing Disney cars? Jack Sal Gellington's pretty cool. I've got my light on. I don't know why. That's great for video quality. Alright, there's absolutely nobody down here. I don't even know what this is. Tons of Jurassic Park. Don't do Jurassic Park. Let's see. Buzz Lightyear stuff. Is anyone buying this stuff? I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen any of this stuff move 
at all. Oh my gosh. I've been looking for this. The Reds. They have not been stocking these lately. And I have been looking for this wave. That's unfortunate. This Starscream's actually really cool. He comes with his little uh, crown and his cape. I'm glad I could find this Ultra Magnus. I've got it. Yeah, that's good. That's money I did not need to spend. I get the Super 7 stuff too, but I need to do a post review. I've already opened them, and uh, that first wave was pretty rough. I hope they kind of step it up from then on out, because I've already paid for most of it. Let's see, nothing behind us. Oh, DC Multiverse. It's very few and in between. I buy any of that anymore. Uh, ah, this guy keeps going in and out of stock. He's currently in stock at Big Bad Toy Store, surprisingly. It was supposed to be a Walmart exclusive, but I guess Walmart's been liquidating their stuff. And finally, they did a reset since yesterday. Because all of the superpowers are on pegs with price tags now. In fact, there's spaces for the Supermobile and the Batwing. But, no Supermobile or Batwing. Let's see. Dark signs. Batman. Let's see how these dark dark signs. No super. But that's okay. I got one score today. That clay face uh, is okay. I had pre-ordered it at Big Bad Toy Store, but canceled it because after watching some reviews, it had some weird diapery thing going on with the crotch. A lot of the larger big figs that uh, McFarlane's doing has that weird crotch piece. It just looks terrible. And I'm about aesthetic. Power Rangers, Mario stuff. That would have been fun if I was a kid, but I, I have no interest in it now. Let's see, we turn around. Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> it looks really good. Um, but it's one of those lines where I'd either had to cherry pick it or go completionist on it. <sighs> and I would rather not risk going completionist because so many of them are good figures. We got Masterverse. I do not like these. I know a lot of people do. I just, there's just something about them that doesn't look right to me. Origins, Jitsus, and Goddess. Oh, oh, I spy with my eye. This was not here yesterday. I can cancel my order off the website. Cancel my Walmart order because now I can buy the Roton. The price is not right, it's not in the right place. I bet he won't ring up correctly. Uh, oh, cool. That's uh, money I don't want to spend. Let's leave that there and keep walking. I am buying these. They're basically Origins figures, but wrestlers, and they've got a, <laughs> they've got Hollywood Hogan, Honky Tonk Man, Ric Flair, Bray Wyatt. I'm not a huge wrestler guy, but I, I, I could not pass those up. And the next wave that's coming out has Mankind, Undertaker, Papa Shango, Million Dollar Man. You can't, they're going in with it, and I love it. The uh, Master of the Universe WWE stuff was good. Oh my goodness. Let's see, these Million Warriors. This is a new pack. I've been, bu I've been buying a lot of these. And I've invested a lot of money in these. And my only issue is they're not random in the 10, these packs right here. They're not random. They're randomly packed, but the pack out will be the same. And there's like a handful of different pack outs per pack. So you're always guaranteed to get the same figures. If you've bought multiple packs, you might get a double pack. But this is new. This just came out. I haven't seen this yet. I'm going to get one of these because there's still two figures that I have not found. And I do not think they exist. But it's possible they held them for this pack. So I'm going to get this. And I'm going to see if they've changed anything. Hopefully, hopefully there's some new figures in there. 
avatar. And that looks like we had about this file. Actually had to go get a buggy. I meant to look at these, these Among Us figures. I really like these. I don't play Among Us, but I like the character designs. This is the second series. I passed up on the first one. But after seeing the second series, uh, I might have to go back and try to find the series one. Because they look really good. They're just little figures you just stand there, but they have swappable hands. And I love the one with the mohawk and the cheese, so not today, but maybe soon. And this guy's pretty cool too. I'm gonna look at the puzzles. I like puzzles. I don't know how you would review a puzzle. I'm like, oh, it's a pretty picture, but sometimes I come in here and I get a puzzle. Usually I focus on the marble stuff, but not everything clicks with me. Like these Thomas Kincaid pictures, they, they look nice, but I just don't care. I like something simple. It's got a, like I like that. That's a different. But I, tell, I try to go bigger than 300 piece puzzles. So just once they get down to about 300 pieces, it, it doesn't take long. So I try to do five or a thousand, two thousand. That Wonder Moment looks nice. More Spider-Man. They've been doing a lot of Spider-Man puzzles, but you know, there's not a lot going on here. Just random people. I like the ones with a lot of characters. Care Bears. They bring Care Bears back. It's been about a year since they came back, I think. Imaginex stuff. I'm, I like Imaginex. If I was a kid, that would have been the toy line I would have been obsessed about. My nephew loves them. These are interesting. They always kidify things for every generation. Make it simple. Trains. Generic dolls. Yeah. Not for me. Whoop. Look at that. I am a model guy. Tend to do more, more for Gundams, but like when's the last time you saw a Star Trek model in store? These are actually really nice. At least the box is. Alright, I'm in the electronics. Got these Japanese figures. Some giant pops. It's always giant pops. I hate pops. You might have seen a pop sitting on the table in my first reviews, but uh, I do not collect them. That was for someone else. NECA has been killing it with their aliens and predators. I've had to avoid the uh, NECA Turtles line in favor of the Super 7 line, and I'm really starting to regret that. I have this Thalog, he's amazing. I'm gonna try to do a review of him. I've already opened him though. Uh, same thing with this Super this uh, super Shredder. I have all three variants of that. And they're all open, but maybe I'll do a post review. Uh, foot Soldiers, that would be tempting to buy. But I've gotta, cut, I've gotta draw the line somewhere. It su surprises me how big warts have been more readily available in stores. It used to be a pain to have to pre-order them. I don't do fig warts anymore. I sold all those. My Hero Academia, Ice Cube, Pops, 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 Pops. Well, that's everything. That's everything for collectibles. All right, that's Walmart. All right, so that was uh, a rare occurrence. I, I go toy hunting every once in a while. I don't do it as much as I used to. I, I buy a lot of my stuff online now. It's very rare that I go into Walmart or something and find so many things that I'm looking for. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this Roton. Uh, it looks amazing. I can't wait to open that up and look at it. Uh, compare it to uh, the classics Roton. These uh, Million Warriors, they come in... Uh, 10 packs, 20 packs, and you can get a 40 pack which is exclusive to Amazon, but all that is is a Million Warriors box with four 10 packs in it. And the pack outs are all the same just for the regular 10 packs. But uh, these 35 packs have this giant dispenser looking thing, which uh, look pretty cool. They're like a nice way to store them. I have a lot of them so I could fill those things up. I just hope. I just hope that there's something new in there because if there isn't, I'll never buy them again. And I've spent a lot of money on those. Uh, this Ultra Magnus, it's 
just a uh, white repaint of Optimus, red line Optimus. Uh, I, I, I got the Super 7 stuff, but this these are a little bit better articulated. The quality is a bit iffy sometimes, and this is a um, knockout. That's from the Prime series, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that was a successful hunt. Uh, I might ride over to GameStop over here, but I'm spin out. Like I wasn't expecting to spend that much money. Um, I get to go cancel my pre-order for the Roton, though, so I have it in hand, which is wonderful. All right. Thank you for watching. You are Supreme Toys. This is my first toy hunt, not in my life, but for my channel. And. Um, Maybe somebody will watch it. Alright, bye.